Hey guys, um, yeah, welcome back to another tuning setup. This is the Honda NSX 2005 rear-wheel drive. It was uh, someone on the uh, discussion page on YouTube asked me to do it a while back and I didn't see it. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, I followed up rules what he's asked me to do, which is no higher than a, a 700 class. Uh, no positive camber. No fucking, oh, what do you call it? Anyway, I followed all the rules what you told me to do, but uh, yeah, on, I've got the first engine on, and I've got the rear wheel drive obviously, and I've got the twin turbo on. I've got every single engine upgrade on it you can. Uh, on this, I've only got the brakes, the suspension, and I haven't got any of these on, but I've got the uh, second of that. But yeah, I'll just click on it to show you. A little bit of proof. Should have really done this first time around and shouldn't really be doing it so quick, but yeah, sorry about that. Um, this I've got everything on you can. That's obviously because it's it changes the gear, so I've got everything you can on that. And he asked me to have no race tyres or anything, but I've only got stock tyres on. So yeah, I've uh, kind of followed that rule. Uh, I've got the widest you can on the front, is it? And I've got the stock on rear. Well, uh, yeah, any rims you want. I ain't got no body upgrades with regards to my tuning setup. This is my uh, tire PSI. I haven't played with my gearing. But that's my alignment, no positive camber like he requested. This car is so hard to drift with the class set, what he's asked me to do. But um, yeah, I, I asked the challenge. I'll ask you guys what you wanted to see, and so yeah. But, um, probably could do with the next engine and I'll upgrade on it, to be fair, because it does lack in power, and I probably do need to change the gearing setup. But um, yeah, I'll we'll go on go and show it you. I'm not good in rear wheel drive, especially with this car, because it ain't got enough power for me, but. I can get it going sideways, I can get some points for it. It's just got a tendency to spin out every now and again and I can't seem to work out why. I've tried everything with it but I don't know if it's just me but I reckon it'd be a nice car with a lot more horsepower in it. Oh. It's not bad, it's not bad. Probably another 100 brake horsepower and it'd be a good car. Oh, gonna spin, yeah. I mean, it just goes too far and you can't bring it back. But, not bad, it was taking another lap in. I will link the kid's uh, name at YouTube in the description because um, I kind of forgot what you call him his YouTube now but I'll link it in the description so uh, yeah. Like I said, it probably could do with being changed in gear in a little bit, but...
not a good lot, but yeah, it's a tour recommended setup what I've been told, so I hope you enjoyed it and yeah. Thank